Good morning, y'all, and welcome to my channel, Kim's Real Adventures and Stuff. Guess what? It's story time. Time for Spoon River Anthologies by Edgar Lee Masters. The, the book based on a fictional town, a, a, fictional towns that Edgar Lee Masters grew up in with the fictitious Cemetery on the Hill and the fictitious Epitaphs. Join me, shall you? I'm going to pick up with what I a recap on the last read was Indignation Jones. Remember, you would not believe, would you, that I came from good Welsh stock, that I was purer blood than the white trash here, and more direct lineage. lineage lineage. There's my blooper for today. The direct line lineage that the New Englands and the Virginians of Spoon River. You would not believe that I had been to school and read some books. And by the way I'm reading, I don't think I ever read a book. <laughs> but I have many of them. Anyway, that's where I left off last time, and he finished it by going to the grocery store for a little cornmeal and a nickel worth of bacon. A nickel's worth of bacon. Okay, I'm going to pick up with Dr. Myers, then his wife. No other man, unless it was Doc Hill, did more for the people in this town than I. And all the week, the halt the improvident, and those who could not pay flocked to me. I was good-hearted, easy, Dr. Myers. I was healthy, happy, and comfortable fortune, blessed with a congenial mate my children raised, all wedded, doing well in the world. And then one night, Minerva, the poetess, came to me in her trouble, crying. I tried to help her out, she died. They indicted me, the newspaper disgraced me, my wife perished of a broken heart, and pneumonia finished me. Now remember, I was re reading about Minerva, and her epitaph was as such. Minerva Jones, I am Minerva, the village poetess, hooted at, jeered at by the Yahoo, uh, yahoos up the street, for my heavy body, cockeye, with rolling walk, and all the more when Butch Weldy captured me after a brutal hunt, he left me to my fate with Dr. Myers, and I sank into death, growing numb from the feet up, like one stepping deeper and deeper into a stream of ice. Will someone go to the village newspaper and gather into a book the verses I wrote? I thirst for... I thirst so for love. I hungered so for life. Okay, and that was Minerva and Dr. Myers. When they mention somebody else, I may go back and read the epitaph again for you. Here's Mrs. Myers. He protested all his life long. The newspapers lied about him villainously. That he was not at fault for Minerva's fall but only tried to help her. <clears throat> Poor soul, so sunk in sin he could not see, that even trying to help her, as he called it, he had broken the law, human and divine. Passers-by, an accident admonin, admission, admonition, A-D-M-O-N-I-T-I-O-N, admonition, I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that right. To you, if your ways would be ways of pleasantness and all of your pathways peace, love God and keep his commandments. Indeed, we should follow his commandments, keep his commandments. If your ways peace, Proverbs 3, 7 said of wisdom personified. There's a little uh, P.S. side note at the bottom of Miss Myers. It says, if your ways, dot, 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 peace, from Proverbs 3, 17. 
Here's the epitaph of Butch Welby. Mm, here we go. After I got religion and steadied down, they gave me a job in the canning works, and every morning I had to fill the tank in the yard with gasoline. <laughs> that fed the blow fires in the sheds to heat the soldering irons, and I mounted a rickety ladder to do it, carrying buckets full of stuff, full of the stuff. One morning, as I stood there pouring, the air grew still and seemed to, ha to heave, and I shot up as, a, as the tank exploded, and my eyes burned crisp as a couple of eggs. For someone left the blow fire going, and something sucked the flame in the tank. The circuit judge said whoever did it was a fellow servant of mine, and so old road son didn't have to pay me. And as I sat on the witness stand, as blind as Jack the Fiddler, saying over and over, I didn't know him at all. Hmm. Okay, I wonder what that was about. Note, Hoheimer. H-O-H-E-I-M-E-R. What a name, huh? Note, K-N-O-W-L-T, Hoheimer, like I spelled, H O. H E I M E R. I was the first fruits of the Battle of Missionary Ridge. When I felt the bullet enter my heart, I wished I had stayed at home and gone to jail for stealing the hogs of Curl Trenary instead of running away and joining the army. Rather a thousand times of a rather a thousand times the country jail than to lie under this marble figure with wings and this granite pedestal, bearing the words pro-patria. What do they mean anyway? Yeah, what do they mean anyway? And the side note here at the bottom of the page. Can you see it? I'll read it. Mm, my nose itches, sorry. Pro patria for one's country, part of a longer family quotation. Dulce et decorum est pro patria mori. Huh, I can say that just fine, but can't read English. Oh, <laughs> go figure, huh? Okay, it is sweet and honorable to die for one's country. There is a strong irony here. Oheimer doesn't know the Latin or the famous tag so that he is as ignorant as the meaning of the unquoted part as he is of the meaning of his death in a Civil War battle. Okay then. So we now know what that means. It means it is sweet and honorable to die for one's country. Okie dokie, I need my eyeballs back on. Okay, Lydia Puckett. What a name. Like, where did he come up with these names? <laughs> Noel, Nolt, Hoheimer ran away to the war the day Curl Trenary swore out a warrant through Justice Arnett for stealing hogs, but that's not the reason he turned a soldier. He caught me running with Lucius Atherton. We quarreled, and I told him never again to cross my path. Then he stole the hogs and went to the war. Back of every soldier is a woman. Okay, last entry I'm going to read for today on this vlog. Out of the cell, into this darkened space, the end at 25, my tongue could not speak was stirred within me, and the village threw, thought me a fool. Yet at the start there was a clear vision a high and urgent purpose in my soul, which drove me on trying to memorize the Encyclopedia Britannica. And that was Frank Drummer. I don't think I, I recall saying that name, Frank Drummer's Epitaph. Okay, and I'm going to leave it off there for today. 
and pick up next time with Hare Drummer, H-A-R-E Drummer. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you did, hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share on your social media. And if you want to pick up on some really great merchandise, I'll put the link in the description for my Facebook page, which will take you to my two shops from Spread Shop and Bonfire. And if you want to pick up a really great wristband for five bucks, PM me at Facebook. It includes the shipping and the handling. So have a great day. Get out there and conquer the world. Stay goofy. And uh, see ya on the next vlog, which may be Dear L.A. or a Bible reading, which I haven't done in a while. So, okay. See ya.